Well, folks, another great tournament. The 2015 Tradewise Gibraltar Chess Festival being played in Gibraltar. Unbelievable scenery. Gibraltar is an amazing place, amazing place. World-class player is one of the top-rated opens in the world. Carl Nakamura, uh, Topalov, ex-world champion, Huey E. Fon, you name it, they're there. Oh, a whole lot of English players, you name it, they're all over the world. And they all come here to the Gibraltar once a year for the Gibraltar Chess Festival 2015. From January 26th through February 15th, 2015. Don't miss any of these great games. Hi folks, John Cordesco back again. Another game from round one of the Gibraltar Chess Masters. Uh, amazing tournament. A lot of top-notch players. This game is from White is Peter Fiddler, who needs no introduction to the chess world. What well, top players in the world, sharp guy. I'm American, he's Russian. He speaks English better than I do. <laughs> Cricket fanatic, just an amazing player. I believe he's the eight-time Russian champion. And those of you that know anything about world chess, to win the Russian championship once, maybe twice, is huge. To win it eight times is just incredibly amazing. He's playing white, and by the name of Frisk, is playing black. This is an open tournament, so sometimes you're going to see lopsided ratings. Peter's rated 27.39. Frisk is rated 22.66. Let's get to it. Siddler's white. Frisk is black. It's going to be a Sicilian. Moscow. Pretty standard stuff. We see Bishop the B5 a lot. Pawn. Bishop comes all the way back. Computer likes Bishop to A4 a hair better. When I say a hair, I mean a hair. Bishop to F1 now is coming up as the top move. All book. All theory. Bishop. Kick. And he goes G4. Interesting. For a Sicilian, one, the castle kingside is white, and two is to move your kingside pawns. So this is going to be an interesting game already. Bishop to G6. D4. He's just pushing pawns, Peter. Bishop takes. Rook takes. Knight takes. D5. Now you see the problem already? If, say, black moves here. Reasonable move. Queen checks the king. Say you block. Queen takes knight. Pretty slick, huh? Knight takes, because he knows he's going to lose the piece. King takes. Knight d5. Knight takes. Pawn takes. Queen checks anyway. The b5. Now what's happened is, it's two pieces for a rook and two pawns, the way it comes down to in score. So it's a bishop and a knight against the rook and two pawns. If you had decided to go queen, it's queen to d7, and trade queens, and knight to d2. After b5, queen to e4, queen to d6. Computer suggested e6. I kind of like that better. I'm not real thrilled on the double pawns, but at least it opens up black's position a little bit. He decided to go queen to d6 instead, which is fine. a4. Open up the position, get the rooks going. Pawn takes. You'll have one, two, three isolated black pawns. This seems like such a natural move, but it's not a very good one. Is g6. Now, the score prior to this, about a point and three quarter advantage, point and a half advantage for white. After g6, it's over three points immediately. B4 was probably a good move. And then after knight, rook to d8. I mean, it still sucks for black, but it's not nearly as bad. A takes. Of course, we all see why a pawn can't take. Lose the rook. Bishop g7. Rook takes a6. Rook takes, pawn takes. Castles, finally. Move 20. But it's too little, too late. 
Queen A4. Peter just better technique now. F5. Queen C6. Can't trade queens. By the way, that was a discovered check. King E1. Queen B8. Queen checks. King has to move. Queen takes the pawn. E4. Bishop E2 guarding that very, very past. A pawn. Queen H2. King to D7. Queen checks. King comes up. The king's in perfect safety. Bishop, excuse me. E3. A bishop takes. Queen takes pawn. Knight to D2. And you can see. It's just technique and Peter is excellent. Rook to d8. Queen to g4. He has to move the queen again. He can't trade queens. Knight to b3. He decides to push. Knight to c5. I mean, it's over. Queen takes an a7. And that's where Frisk decides to throw in the towel. I know I went a little quick. But well, this is the last video I'm doing today, and it's getting a little bit late in the evening. Uh, sorry I went fast. If you want to maybe analyze it a little better, stop the video and take a look at it. Give you an idea. After a7, queen f5, bishop takes. It's over. Anyway, folks, that's the last of my videos from round one of the Gibraltar Chess Festival. This is the master section. And as I always say, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.